Ladies and gentlemen, it's Voices from the Fog. Welcome to the history of cured meat, brought to you by Volpe Foods. Today, the history of fermentation. It's more interesting than it sounds, I promise. Like the curing process, using fire to cook food, or accidentally eating the wrong mushrooms. Fermentation was this fascinating natural process going on whether us simple little humans happen to take part or not. Our subject today is what humans have done with this process in which bacteria take sugars and turn them into any number of things like gas, acid, or what you may know it for best, alcohol. I got news for you, Sonny. You see that pickle you're so delicately applying to that Italian hoagie with Genoa and mortadella? Oh, how about the provolone so elegantly draped over said sandwich? Also fermented. Mind blown? Let's sail back in time to early fermenting days. You see those two distinguished gentlemen? They're about to invent the hangover. So one guy says, dang, look at all these rotten grapes that ended up all over the ground. Guy, you were on Grape Watch. His bud is like, they're just a little squishy and moldy, no biggie. They eat the grapes, get a funny head rush, and a smarter person comes along and says, Just drink that mess, guys. Run the grape gunk through my hat and mash it up good. Flash forward 6,000 years, and we've evolved all the way to foot and bucket technology. Moving forward, the Egyptians and their huge structure-building slave population. Those happy laborers that built the pyramids were each rationed four to five liters of beer a day, which counted as a form of payment, so the Egyptian government could classify them as employees and not interns, thus avoiding the slave tax. Sobering up, cheese, the milk that keeps. No one knows exactly how fermentation first introduced cheese to the world, but the legend ain't bad. An Arabian merchant is set to cross the desert. He's agreed to pay another merchant for some milk, but failed to secure a plastic jug from anywhere in the world yet. He's got a pouch made from a sheep's stomach. He crosses the desert and does his nomadic sorts of things. When he gets to camp, he opens the pouch and takes a drink. Instead of throwing up, he finds the way to be quenching and the curds to be delectable. And cheese is still made this way accidentally, even today, all over the world in lazy people's refrigerators. Final anecdote and shout out to Asia, Genghis Khan, a man who, like a yeast cell, converted people into acids, gases, and alcohol in the form of murdering them. He is noted for officially bringing sauerkraut to the West. So, thanks, I guess. But seriously, Genghis, just because sauerkraut is awesome, we're not going to look the other way on you being an epic pillaging scumbag. Volpe Foods, American crafted since 1902.